this is exactly what the Clippers need. This is exactly the opportunity the Clippers need. They need to jump on this opportunity with this type of situation. They're talking about in the sites now, there is a possibility where they have a chance to pull Malcolm Brogdon. The only problem with this opportunity, I will say, that kind of hinders me is the fact that they're suggesting that they let go of Reggie Jackson to get him. That's the only part I don't agree with. But the opportunity itself is really good. And I think the Clippers could find a way around that by not letting Reggie Jackson go and finding a way to get somebody like a Malcolm Brogdon because he would be so perfect for what they need. He is a good point guard, doesn't turn the ball over, very good IQ. I mean, last year, the man averaged 19 point one points a game and 5.9 assists per game like that's perfect you're not going to get much better than that and that that that's not only i mean he could be a starting point guard for any team because that's what he is he's a starting point guard and even if he came off the bench for the clippers it wouldn't even matter because he has a good iq for the game and he understands how to play the game within his means he doesn't try to do anything spectacular he doesn't try to do anything outside of his square he just stays within his means and plays within his reach and that's exactly the type of point guard you need one that's mentally under control one who can handle the pressure of being a point guard and you know having everybody getting everybody where they need to be and understanding when it comes time for him to knock down big shots he's able to do so Malcolm Brogdon can do that Malcolm Brogdon is a really good point guard in regards to that I mean I bet some of the former teams or team that he was on would definitely like to have him back I mean the Bucks would definitely love to have Malcolm Brogdon back if they could because he might be one of the pieces that they're actually missing at times you know take a little bit more pressure off Drew Holiday but this is my point the Clippers can definitely use somebody like him. I've made a video, like, I think a couple months back, several months back, about um, him being one of the potential, you know, pieces that the Clippers would be able to add to make them a really, really good team. You know what I'm saying? And I think it was him along with Dragic and a few others. But still, he's one of those point guards that you definitely would like to even, you know, consider because he's still got some, you know, he, he's, he's still young. He's still, you know, he's not like 38 years old or anything like that. You know, he's still young, kind that he still can contribute and really the way he plays you always want to see a player like him be have an opportunity to win a championship and he never had the opportunity he was on the bucks back then when they really weren't that good of a team and he's been on indiana you see what i'm saying he's been on teams where he really hasn't had the opportunity to flourish as a type of point guard that he could be because a lot of people see that he's got talent he's always had that but i mean the opportunity is being on a team that's contending for a championship. He hasn't always had that. And like I said, this team is needs this team is predicated on you know winning a championship so winning a championship involves having guys with the right mindset the right iq and the right thought process coming into the situation there again the clippers have a good culture everybody's tight-knit everybody understands one another they've been together through the struggle and malcolm brogdon will fit right in because he's been through a struggle the last few years if you ask me being on indiana is definitely not easy because they're just not a team that's that's going to win anything anytime soon. I mean, they're definitely one of those teams where, you know, a low market team, you don't get much notoriety. TV time is very minimal. And the fact of that it's in Indiana or it's, you know, one of those type teams in the NBA, you're never going to get the maybe the, you know, the, the, the credit and the flowers you deserve, depending on how good of a player you are. Like, you know, with Karis Avert being there and other players there, they just don't get that that notoriety the way they should or didn't, you know. So I'm hoping, you know, that the Clippers might be able to find a way to acquire a Malcolm Brogdon. I definitely feel like, you know, he's a good piece and he's a piece that Kawhi Leonard and the rest of the crew would actually, you know, fit in well with and vice versa. You know, I feel like he's a good locker room guy. I feel like he'll understand the process. And there again with Ty Lu, everybody know Ty Lu is probably the best coach in the NBA right now as far as like just overall and getting the best out of his players. I mean, if he got 32 points or, you know, had, if he got a 32 point game out of a player like Amir Coffey one or two times this past season, he can get huge, huge contributions out of a player like Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon doesn't even have to really put up that many points, but the fact that he can come in there and play with the mindset of wanting to win and wanting to, you know, help this team win would be a huge contribution to the Clippers. And on top of that, like I said, 
um, he is a hard worker. He is a hard mentality, blue collar type worker player. That's the way that um, Malcolm Brogdon is built. You know what I'm saying? That's the way he is. I mean, you can see it in his game every time you've watched him play. If you've watched him play, and I, I know I'm saying this because a lot of people haven't watched Malcolm Brogdon play that much, and if they have, it's been a while since they've seen him. So uh, he's definitely one of those blue collar type worker type players, and the Clipper Nation would definitely embrace him, and the Clipper way and the structure would definitely embrace him as well. He kind of fits the mold of what they are. You see, what I'm saying, even though Kawhi is a superstar, he's a superstar based upon his actions. You know, what I'm saying how he does on the court and the crazy things he does at times. You know, you know, what I'm saying because he be going crazy on the court, but his mentality is more like a blue collar type worker type dude. You see, what I'm saying so because he's not a flashy type person and all that. He gets the job done, gets it done in his own way, but he's very, very highly effective at the highest level of basketball that it could be played and there again having blue collar worker minded type players like a Malcolm Brogdon would fit the process even more because Ka Kawhi Leonard wants high IQ players he doesn't want anything less than that so flashy players and all that that's good but Kawhi I'd rather have somebody there who's going to get the job done the way he is and has the same mentality and getting somebody like Malcolm Brogdon you're putting him in a situation where your best player thinks this way where the rest of the team plays with that type of chip on their shoulder and so with Malcolm Brogdon and like I said players like him I really want to see get put in a better situation where they can utilize their talents and get a championship it's a lot of good players or a lot of good point guards or whatever position out there where they're good players and they just don't get the notoriety because they're not given the opportunity to really be put in position to do great things and like I said he would be perfect for what the Clippers need he can anchor the offense he can score 19 points a game if needed um and on top of that, he's a true point guard. He wouldn't be like Reggie Jackson is. Reggie Jackson's really a shooting guard. He's not a point guard, which is the reason why a lot of times their offense can go stagnant at times where you think it shouldn't because they got all these, you know, uh, pieces. But like I said, the point guard is the one of the most important pieces on a team. I mean, a point guard is almost like a quarterback if you want to look at it in football terms. See what I'm saying? That's how valuable a point guard is. They get everybody going. They throw. They put the ball in position to get the wide receivers the touchdown so they can get all the fame and notoriety which would be the other superstars like Kawhi and PG and they can anchor everything to keep everything in control when offenses get out of whack or when other team is going on a run and they could put themselves and the team in position to run an offense a lot smoother going against you know the opposing team and their crowd when they're the away team so this is what I'm saying point guard is very very valuable and I feel like that's something the Clippers definitely need to acquire. So looking in this direction, I hope they continue to do it. I hope they find a way to go after it. I don't want them to get rid of Reggie Jackson. I will say that once again. So they got to find a way to get a point guard like this of this caliber without giving up much or minimal at all, if possible. But they have to find a way to do it. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. As always, check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out. Uh -huh.